Please repeat after me. Jadam Sulfur, Jadam Wedding Agent, and Jadam Herbal Solution. You don't need anything but these three. All you need is combination of these three to figure everything. Don't force yourself to shift towards Jada method as soon as this lecture is done. Just relax and first approach with basic principles and Jada wedding agent. In this way, you can at least reduce your input cost up to 10th out of current budget. You can use some of chemical pesticide if you want to when situation is unfortunate. It is totally up to your decision. When you do 100% Jadam, there is nothing really much you can figure it out. Most of time it works 10 out of 10. What I'm trying to say here is that don't feel stressed about making your own solution. I'm not forcing you to apply our method. Just go easy with the technology. You can also use combination of other methods if you think that is suitable for you. As I told you in previous period that Another best part of Jadam solutions are that it is combinable with other chemical pesticide. There are about 70,000 farmers in Korea using Jadam method, but only lesser than 20,000 farmers are organic certified. That means the rest of 50,000 people are conventional farmers. Conventional farmers are even using Jadam because they want to reduce their input cost. Apart from that, I mentioned powerful effects of Korean pesk flour. Most of pesk flours were imported from China, but they increased the price three times after I told farmers its effect. However, what we found is that ginkgo is powerful enough to replace pesk flour once you extract the fruit out of the ginkgo tree. And sometimes ginkgo extract can solve problems that pesk flour couldn't. So don't get obsessed with the pesk flour. Now let's organize every solution. The effect of Jadam wedding agent. Say your pesticide is strong enough, but you can't control the pest. Then simply increase the amount of JWA to capture the pest longer within solution. You may be seeing this function as just wedding agent, but JWA alone can control many pests. It is stronger than neem oil. And next, the Jadam sulfur. JS contains about 25% pure sulfur, which is higher than most of agriculture sulfur product out in the market. It is not just fungicide, but also very beneficial in our health as well. You can even treat athlete's food within a week when you dilute 10 times in the water. It also works as a skin irritation and eczema with this. After I taught JS, many people started to do test research on their body. One guy came up to me saying he got new hair on his skin hat. And I don't know if that's true, but all of those stories proves us that it is not harmful to human, rather it can be benefit health of the people. Next function of JS is speed interesting. It can increase the shelf life of fruit when it is sprayed on the paper under beneath that fruit. We haven't tested exactly how long it can last since we've just heard this story from a farmer who ships his products internationally. Which means there is high possibility to other farmers to deliver their product longer distance without worry. And another great function is on termite. While Jadam team were in Hawaii, we also did some research on getting rid of termite. When it is sprayed 10 times dilution in the small hole in the tree, termites were disappeared since after. I think it is because of the smell and minimal toxic is affecting the termite. And with all this combination, farming becomes worryless. When we do farming, we spray mild solution right after transplanting. And the best part is that none of our crop bulb of its leaves. So there's no empty space in the beds as you can see from the picture. Common problem of most of farmer is that they have to keep on planting because the crop bulbing up right after planting. With this three combination, it can treat scab and rust on pear. And powdery mildew have never been an issue for us. And we can control about 90% in case of downy mildew. Even if it is not 100%, I can still be able to farm cucumber in an open field. Even my father Han Gyu Cho was surprised to see me farming cucumber outside. And leaf mold disease on tomato is known to be uncurable. However, this is really nothing for us. And the list goes on and on and on leaf blight, back end disease, and pepper anthracnose. Talking about pepper anthracnose, when solution is applied on the surface where it is infected, will heal up and stop spreading all around. And now let's move on to Jadam herbal solution. If you have a problem of aphid, this Jerusalem artichoke extract alone can solve the issue. 
In Jadam technology, aphid is most easiest thing to eliminate. There are going to be lots of moths and ants on the crop if you cannot control aphid. Once you are successful with aphid, mite is not a big deal at all. Many conventional farmers are also struggling with aphid, even chemical pesticide is sprayed on them. But with Jadam, we can destroy their colony and entire family within few hours. Do you know the success controlling rate of chemical or organic pesticide? 80%. But with Jadam, 100%. Can you see these furry insects? It is called powdery aphid. It can make you struggle controlling. For that, you need to wisely choose the quality water so the solution can penetrate deep in between the pest. Then it will die within 3 to 4 hours after spraying. Raise your hand and repeat after me. Powdery mildew. Aphid. All you need to control is this too and apply similar method and recipe to different pest control. That will do enough job. Just right now I told you the effect of Jerusalem artichoke leaves. It will get even more stronger when you add its root. Moving on to the next one, the ginkgo, which is all cure remedy in Jadam natural pesticide solution. By adding the fruit, it becomes even powerful. It is not just for the pest, but also for the bigger animal like a mole. Think about it, people like me who is doing no-till farming, if we have mole problems, the mole will destroy the farm. But when we spray solution along with ginkgo, it most likely disappear because of this toxics which is harmless to human. It is panacea of farming. This is also widely used even in between conventional farmers, which is something remarkable to expect from organic pesticide. There is not a single solution that guarantees 100% success control rate out in the market. By far in Jadam, we can proudly recommend and guarantee its effect. These solution results are not from the indoor lab. We can guarantee because we tested it in the open field with trials and errors for many years. And the next pest is the mosquito. When it is sprayed in the farm, surprisingly, you don't see any mosquitoes. Caterpillars, not an issue. Then what about the stink bugs? Not a big deal. For those who have an orchard, be happy about it. You are now free from stink bug problems. When I say something that I guarantee, it is usually from my own perspective and experience and also from other farmers' review of Jadam technology. And their result, all this pests shown in the picture is not a difficult thing anymore when you have ginkgo, even for scale insects. Ginkgo is a game changer, and it is panacea for agriculture. Drips are a bit tricky, but still manageable with some times. You'll have to use the pest flower specifically for grasshopper though. It also shows very powerful results on onion maggots and fruit flies. As you can see, it is not for specific type of plant, it works on almost every plant and pest. This is something that even chemical pesticide wouldn't dare with. Just ginkgo alone can beat all other products out there. When the price of the pest flower were increasing, I had to find an alternative solution to find replacement of pest flower. So I tested ginkgo for 3 years to see the effects clearly so that it can be replacement for pest flower. And now I can confidently tell all of you ginkgo is at least the best solution in South Korea. After all the trial and error, we are confident to grow any crop in an open field as well. Doesn't matter whether or not there is a storm during summer. Last year, many farmers got damaged from fall webworm. For that, what you need to do is spray firmly a couple of times in the same spot so that the solution will penetrate in between the fur of that worm. When you were able to suck their body parts, then you are good to go. Before this period, I mentioned Jadam solution can be worked both on plant and soil. Principle behind that is if you can control pests above the ground, with that exact same solution, you can control the pests below the ground. Spray ginkgo mix solution a couple of times before planting your seedlings or seeds, then spray after planting, you can absorb there is no pest or barely see any pest afterward. And apart from that, there is some optional thing for the pesticide you can add along with JHS. Please repeat after me. Sodium hydroxide. 
and red clay powder. You may don't have much chance to use this while farming, but let me explain. If you mix caustic soda along with pesticide, the solution will be stinging on the skin. The general ratio for this is about 500 grams for 500 liters. Melt the solution first before adding into the water. And if you add fine red clay or soil powder, the solution will be nailed on the skin of the pest, which makes all mixed pesticide to be much more powerful. First, put in a separate beaker with water, stir a couple of times, wait for a minute, then use the upper part of the beaker. It works well on furry moth or furry pest. The fur on their skin protects them from outside material, but with the fine soil, the solution can penetrate deep inside. So far, these are the great options you can add. However, I haven't used this option for about two years because those three combinations that I mentioned alone can do enough job to eliminate most of the pest. So my conclusion is that it is not necessary to use pest flower when we are talking about JHS. There are still many other herbs that are powerful enough like ginkgo. When farmers had no access to pest flower, I wanted to help them find cheaper price, so we group ordered for affordability. But soon after, price went up and people started to make a rumor that we are taking a lot of margins out of pest flower. Then I began doing research on alternative solution, much more accessible, much more affordable, nearly cost zero solution. I knew ginkgo have a great effect, but the more I researched, the more I realized the value of ginkgo. This plant is harmful to pests, but harmless to human. Ginkgo can deal with wide range of pests and plants. After knowing the power of many herbs, I noticed there is still something missing. The mechanical issue. Have you heard of the foam gun used for car washing that creates foam? My curiosity went over to the other genre to adopt the technology for farming. And when I applied similar method, it was even more greater. It literally destroyed all the pests. They died almost instantly. I thought I was seeing miracle. When it comes to bigger size pests, usually you'd have to use higher dosage of herbal solution and other, but with little bit of mechanical change, the effects were amplifying. So I went to popularize it, but there was one problem, that it was using too much of pesticide. Then one day, one of our member farmer came up with an idea which was brilliant to me at least. If you make a cross line front of the nozzle, the pesticide will be sprayed with foam when it is contacted with the cross. With these bubble shots, you won't even need a herbal solution, trust me. This is something really amazing to see. And there's one more thing that are in the market sold under brand name Yamaho. These nozzles are usually comes with herbicide back sprayer. Purchase one of these or make your own like him to use it when you need it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the lecture. My name is Sungwoo Cho, son of the author. I tried to make this lecture as similar and simple as possible, just like how he speaks in Korean. So please understand even if there is some translation mistake. If you're interested in Jadam technology, I will leave a link down below where you can purchase our second edition Jadam Organic Farming. It contains all the recipe for each and every solution. And if you like this video, please click thumbs up. And also we are getting ready with other hands-on farming videos, so be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.